Distinguished members of the press, our second guest today is the Secretary General of NATO, my distinguished friend Jens Stoltenberg. Following the disaster of the earthquake, he has paid this visit to exhibit the solidarity of NATO with us. The distinguished Secretary General has played a very active attitude since the very beginning as to the undertakings of NATO. He called us, he sent us messages messages and he always asked what additional steps could be taken and for that reason I would like to thank him for the solidarity they have exhibited and for the support they have rendered. Of course addressing the wounds of the disaster that we have experienced is being supported by other allies. They have sent search and rescue teams in an accelerated manner. I shared the figures of these this morning. The, uh, more than 3,500 of the search and rescue personnel in the field came from our allies, and they also provided in cash and in kind assistance to meet the emergency needs. The NATO authorities, since the very beginning of the disaster, immediately took action upon our request. And the NATO Euro Atlantic Disaster Response Coordination Center has been coordinating this assistance since the beginning. The NATO Council has also decided the containers and the tents that are suitable for winter conditions to be sent to to our country from their inventory, and this is going to host more than 3,000 people, and it's going to be actually serving for six months in the first phase, and it could be extended if need be. These are going to be deployed in Iskenderun and Hatay, and of course the speedy transportation setting up and the operation of such accommodation needs are issues that we are jointly working on in the field. Our colleagues are actually working in the preliminary activities with the NATO teams. For this, yesterday, we made a demand for the strategic air transportation facilities of our NATO allies to be activated immediately. The Secretary General actually provided the initial package of 40 containers and the 20,000 winter tents from Pakistan to be transported to our country and has actually conveyed our demand from our allies to provide cargo planes. We we are grateful for these steps that he has taken. There are going to be many tents provided from Pakistan. We have also placed our orders. And we are doing our uh, utmost uh, for these uh, tents to be brought to our uh, country. We have mobilized all our efforts, and uh, some uh, friendly countries are also uh, providing us uh, air cargo uh, planes, and we are grateful for these distinguished members of the press. The distinguished Secretary General is going to also be meeting with our president today. And uh, following uh, his meeting with the president, he will be traveling to the region. And our Minister of National Defense, Mr. Hulusi Akar, who is already in Hatay, and he's the minister responsible for that area, is going to be meeting the Secretary General, and they will be visiting the earthquake zone, and they will also be discussing the supplies of the accommodation that is going to be provided for NATO. They will be visiting the site for the preparation of the these accommodation facilities. Once again, we're grateful to uh, their efforts and to the efforts of our allies. Of course, having uh, made this opportunity today, we also discussed certain regional issues. The war in Ukraine, the extension of the grain deal, and also other uh, efforts, uh, the uh, latest status in the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. We had an opportunity to evaluate all these issues. Of course, uh, like always, these are not the priority today, but but uh, we also uh, discussed uh, the uh, membership uh, to NATO for uh, Sweden and Finland. We uh, also shared our expectations and also the uh, trilateral uh, MOU and fulfillment of the commitments of uh, this MOU. 
We underlined the importance of this once again. And of course, uh, there are certain steps, uh, especially steps to be taken by the Swedish side. And the provocations that took place uh, have not been beneficial, especially the provocations in Sweden have not uh, contributed positively. But in the end, as uh, Turkey, we're always supporting in the strengthening and uh, the uh, enlargement of NATO. We are one of the countries that has an immense contribution. And we do believe that as an important ally, as uh, Turkey, we will be strengthening NATO is important and we will continue to provide our support to NATO activities. Such support shall continue. As you know, we are one of the countries that has the greatest, actually one of the first five countries that has the greatest contribution to NATO activities and we are one of the first eight countries that have the largest share of the general budget. Such contribution shall continue. With these thoughts, I would like to once again uh, say Buzier, welcome to my distinguished friend Jens Stoltenberg and so once more then, uh, 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 indicate that we're thankful for this visit. Minister Shavushoglu there, Mevlut, it's uh, good to see you uh, again and thank you for your warm uh, welcome uh, and thank you for your strong personal commitment uh, to our alliance uh, mm -hmm. and uh, to uh, NATO. Uh, today, I have come to show my solidarity following the devastating earthquake that struck Turkey and uh, Syria last uh, week. This is the deadliest uh, natural disaster on Alliance territory since the foundation of uh, NATO. On behalf of NATO, uh, I offer my deepest uh, condolences to the Turkish people and the families and the loved ones uh, of all those who lost their lives uh, or were injured. We salute the courage of the Turkish first responders and we mourn with you. NATO allies lower their flags in solidarity after the earthquake. And at this week's uh, defense ministerial uh, meeting, we observed a moment of silence to honor the victims. In your time of need, NATO stands with Turkey. The day after the earthquake, NATO's Disaster Response Center issued an immediate request for assistance to all NATO allies and partners. Since then, thousands of emergency response personnel have been deployed to Turkey to support the relief uh, efforts, including with search and rescue teams, firefighters, medical personnel, and seismic experts. NATO allies continue to provide support. Military aircraft from the Netherlands, Norway, the UK, and the United States are working day and night to transport international aid to Turkey and perform medical evacuations. Other allies like Albania, Canada and Germany are providing financial and other types of aid. And across NATO, ordinary citizens are raising millions of euros in support to Turkey. This is true and deep solidarity. I also welcome the contributions of our invitees, Finland and Sweden, showing solidarity in action. In particular, I thank Sweden for its initiative to hold an international donor conference in March. The focus going forward will be on reconstruction and supporting the displaced. That is why NATO is now setting up temporary housing for thousands of displaced people. In addition, NATO will also use our strategic airlift capabilities to transport tens of thousands of tents to Turkey in the coming days and weeks. All of this will help to save lives. NATO has a team on the ground working hand in hand with the Turkish authorities. Later today, I will meet with some of the personnel supporting these efforts and thank them for their professionalism and their dedication. So, Minister Shavoshoglu, thank you again for hosting me today. This is a time for NATO allies and partners to come together, standing alongside the people of Turkey, 
today and tomorrow in strong solidarity. Thank you.